want to know how to save money on your accommodation, transport or get food with 80% discount or go to free yoga, pilates or running classes, continue watching. Hi curious friends, it's Basi and in today's video I'm going to give you 12, 12 money saving budget tips that actually work and these tips also help me spend just 900 pounds living in central London which means that even if you're on national minimum wage which at the moment is this much you can still live comfortably save money and be super happy boring I don't really care and before you think that this video is not for you I want to tell you that these tips are so useful so they can help you if you're just planning to visit London or if you live anywhere in the UK or even outside of the UK I'm sure you can find a local alternative to any of them still not sure about it but let's give it a try if you're new here welcome my name is Vasi on this channel I help you plan your trip to London help you if you're moving to the UK or if you're just curious and if you want to see more fun but also informative content don't forget to subscribe it really means the world to me and I'm not just saying that I actually mean it number one let's start with the basics accommodation will be your biggest expense so finding the right place is really key and the truth is if you're looking for a whole apartment you have way better chances of finding a good deal than looking for a single room so if you have friends that are already in the city or you have a boyfriend then really consider moving in and to live with them because the chances are you will pay less and you will find a better and nicer place make sure you're not overpaying for your bills the thing is many Londoners are used to inheriting can I just stop you right there for a second when people do this I don't really know what that means. <laughs> their energy bills from their landlord or from the previous tenant. But there might be better service and better offer for you out there. And there are websites such as YouSwitch or GoCompare where you can go and easily check the prices so you can see what are the starting price and you can get a way better deal. Number three, transport. And this is kind of the same as the bills. If you're not traveling every day, just make sure that you have the right travel card for you that it's for the zones that you're using or if you're not traveling every day you might be actually better off paying every time that you're using the public transport consider getting a bike you can get one of the Santander bikes which cost just two pounds for unlimited access for 24 hours as long as your journey is not more than 30 minutes if it's more than 30 minutes then it costs additional two pounds for each 30 minutes period but the thing is those bikes are actually quite heavy so it might be hard for you to bike around the city for more than 30 minutes plus if you're within central London then 30 minutes is the perfect time for you to get from one place to the other plus you're sustainable and guys if you're new here please drop me a comment down below I really want to come and say hi to all of you you know those days when you're so lazy you just want to stay in bed but you actually want to go somewhere and you have to get an uber well the answer is don't get an uber hear me out there are so many applications out there that offer better pricing and also will give you a discount code for the first times that you're using them so you can check out the prices on lyft easy taxi or this one and i promise you you will spend five more minutes in bed researching but you will save at least 30 percent of your journey worth it isn't it five is about coffee instead of buying coffee every single day from Pret or any of those big chains you can make it at home and just like that you will save 70 pounds but if you don't want to listen to me and you still want to get your coffee you can bring a reusable coffee cup and they will take 20 or 30p out of your bill plus you will be more sustainable I don't have one but also don't forget to bring your water bottle another very money wasteful habit that many people have is to buy lunch every single day or do deliveries 
but I'm really not judging anyone because those meals are so delicious. This costs you from five to 10 pounds every single time, but what I suggest you doing instead is preparing your lunch at home, plus you get to carry one of these super cute lunch boxes. And just like that, you can save 200 pounds every single month, seven. And uh, this one is again about food and shopping because those habits are the ones that make a difference in your budget. Consider shopping and at your ethnical store if you haven't been there before. Let me know, do you guys go to your ethnical stores? What I found here, this lentil starter, two kilos and cost only 279. Isn't this amazing? And they always have such great products. But if you're a person that still prefers buying things at bulk, then you can go to Audi or Lidl, which have great prices. Remember when I told you to bring your water bottle? Well, if you do that, if you do that, actually there is this app called My Miso, which shows you which is the closest station where you can refill water for free. So you will save money and be sustainable. So it's kind of a win-win situation. Number nine, if you're not using Too Good To Go or Karma, guys, please go now on your app store and download them because those apps are amazing. Basically, what they do is that they offer you the possibility of buying all the remaining food of the restaurant at the end of the day, which otherwise they would throw away. Let's fight this food waste. Let's get cheap and delicious meals. And because I want to show you how much I support this, I am actually going to get a goodie bag from Cafe Nero. Let's see what are we actually going to get with three pounds. If you like this video, YouTube told me that I should suggest you liking and subscribing, but I think you already knew that. And hi Vasi, we're in St. Hi. James. What, what's going on? Let's... Let me show you what's in our surprise bag from Too Good To Go. And Ben can see me both on the camera and in real life, but that doesn't mean that he decided to tell me that my hair looks ridiculous. Total price of everything that's inside is 10 pounds. 10 pounds? Wow, must be a pretty big bag then. Let's see, let's but see. But actually, when I calculated how much things are, it came up, up to this price. <gasps> I cannot see that though. So we have a brownie. Brownie. Three milk chocolates. Milk chocolate. Can I have one? Oh, we have a fruit salad. Another brownie. Oh, okay. Wow. Mozzarella and roasted tomato. Damn so. It's kind of cooked to ham <gasps> and cheese. Cooked to ham. Oh, my favorite. Ham, and another one. Ham and How mozzarella. many sandwiches did we get? And another chocolate. And what do you mean? Oh, All this is okay, three so four pounds. Four chocolates, two brownies, two sandwiches, another sandwich, and a fruit salad. Yeah, all for three pounds. All for what? For three pounds. That was great. It's crazy. I know I gave you a lot of suggestions of eating at home or rescuing meals, but I know there are also other days when you prefer eating out. For those days, I actually have other saving money tips for you. If you go to a restaurant that has an early birds menu, this menu is usually at least 20% cheaper than the regular one. You, you should just eat a bit earlier from 5 to 6.30 or from 9 until 10.30 and you will get a big discount on your meal. And of course, there are other offers websites where you can find great deals such as open table or bookable which give you exclusive offers so just sign up for them and then every time you decide to go out you can just have a look and book in advance 11 do you guys know that big sportswear brands offer completely free classes to everyone you don't even need to be their customer which is quite amazing. For example, Lulu Moon offers free yoga in their stores and also in some other locations their free learning, running clubs. Or also Sweaty Betty offers free classes from yoga to heat or bar classes. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more tips on how to save money in London, don't forget to subscribe. Love you all! Bye! Oh my god, people were staring at me. Welcome to BBC Nature. Today we're going to explore the lychee, which are a marvelous creature. Oh, do not feed or touch the pelicans. We well, are not a pelican.